What it do, Stats Crew? It's your boy Kid Stats coming at you guys with another video. And today, guys, what we are going to be going over is this bad boy. Yes, sir. Let's get into it. For anybody that's wondering, what this device here is an NVMe SSD. I know, computer tech talk. I get it. Basically, what this device is, is an integrated SSD card that goes on a motherboard. I know that still sounds like tech talk. But hear me out. For anybody that know, PlayStation 5 just released the software firmware update for us to be allowed to go ahead and use these SSD M.2s on the PS5. Now, also their other option is to, of course, hard drive or SSD. But if you want those faster read speeds, M.2 is the way to go. Now, for anybody that also didn't know, the M.2 requirement for the PS5 in order for it to work, you gotta have at least a read speed of 5,000. Luckily for me, we have the T-Force Cardia A440. This bad boy here, I'm kinda excited to putting this thing in. The heat sink is kinda huge. Hopefully it works out. So we're kinda, we're gonna kinda see how that works, you know, when we put it in the PS5. That was my main concern. If it was even compatible with the PS5, will it fit? Who knows, but we're gonna find out here. And you know, this is basically my setup for you guys to see if this thing even works. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Let's get it. All right, guys, the so first thing first, what you want to do on this side of the PS5, this is the side that you want to take off. So if you flip the system the other way, so the opposite of the PS logo here, you flip it this way, and this is the back side of the system. This is the part that we want to take off. So what we're going to do here is going to lift up here. We're also gonna pull down. So matter of fact, before I even do that, make sure you take your base off. Cause I, I didn't take my base off here. So let me actually do that real quick. All right, so now that we got the base off, what we're gonna do is gonna pull here and kind of go in a downward motion at the same time. Hold the base of your PlayStation at the bottom down here. And that easy, that simple. And as you can, guys can see here, this is where your SSD NVMe uh, .2, M.2 is gonna go. So we're gonna unscrew this here and we're gonna put the uh, M.2 in. There, all right, get this unscrewed. And if anybody that's uh, familiar with PCs already, you already know what this slot here looks like for the M, uh, M.2s, but if you're familiar, all this is new to you, trust me, there's plenty of videos on, on YouTube, man. Study up, learn up, man. Even if it's just for the purposes here or for this video, man, I got y'all. So basically this is where the M.2 is gonna sit. Uh, this screw here is for the M.2 uh, for the different holes. So you got your size 30, 42, 60, 80, and, and 110. Obviously, that's the length of uh, how long the M.2 is for anybody that was wondering about that. Let's go ahead and get the M.2 real quick. All right, here is this beautiful piece of work here. As you can see, we got the MVME PCIe five-year warranty. You know what I'm saying? M.2 series solid straight drive from Team Group. Big shout out to them. So we're going to put this in the you know machine and test it out all right guys so i went ahead and took my screw out so as you can see here we have this little uh mechanism right here i don't know if you guys can see that real good the camera want to focus on that but basically this is where you sit it you size up your uh m.2 uh with the holes here on the board itself and as you can see we reach up to about the 80. uh so what you want to do is you want to take that piece uh that comes with the screw and the ps5 you want to take that out and put it where it fits with your m.2 so I went ahead and put that there. And what I'm gonna do is this is a knot. You can't mess this up. If you notice the little groove in there on the M.2, there's also another groove right here in your PS5 as well. You wanna just sit that in there like so. And you should feel it click. Now, a lot of people are gonna freak out about this part. You notice that the M.2 is sitting up like this, right? It's not gonna go down naturally until you put your screw in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and screw this in. Damn. And remember guys, anytime you mess with any devices like this, peripherals, extra storage, whatever, never tighten your screw too much. You hear me? Never tighten your screw. Well, a lot of us probably already know that. Um, also, real big important part, guys. Now check this out. A lot of you guys, you're, you're excited getting these M.2, but the biggest, biggest, biggest part of all of this is to make sure you have a heat sink. Now what this is, is this basically takes all the heat it, it spreads it out. It keeps the M.2 itself nice and cool because what's going to happen is this thing gets overheated. 
you know, your speed start fluctuating. You can probably burn out the M.2. A lot of crazy things can happen. So to keep this thing safe and cool, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this uh, heat sink on it. And then we're going to make it do what it do. All right. I got my plastic off. I'm going to go ahead and slap that on the M.2 real quick. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put the the finishing touch on it so hopefully this will be able to allow the ps5 case to still close so we're about to and there it is so let's go ahead and and see if this heat sink indeed will allow the ps5 case to close we don't know yet but we're about to at least test it out let's let's get it All right, there it is, snapped in place. So, moment of, hey, moment of truth, let's go ahead and test this PS5 out. All right, so the first thing I noticed once I turned the PlayStation 5 on, it says to use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it. So that's pretty much anything, anytime you upload a new SSD, hard drive, whatever, to a new system, it needs to be formatted nine times out of 10. So that's basically what's going on here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and hit that format M.2 SSD. We'll let that thing load and see what's what's popping. All right, so as you can see here, uh, the read speed of M M.2 SSD is follows. If you experience problems while playing a game install in the M.2 storage, try installing it on the console storage. So as you can see here, we got the read speed 6500, which is actually a really good read speed for this uh, M.2 SSD. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Your M.2 has been formatted. All right, to change where your games are installed, go to settings, storage, installation, location. To safely remove your M.2, turn off your PlayStation first. Obvious, you know, obvious facts, right? Let's go ahead and get it. As you see here, once you go to your storage, you see the console storage and the M.2 SSD storage. So let's go ahead and go down to that SSD storage real quick. And as you can see, T-Force is red as the SSD, so that's good. And then we have one terabyte on this stick so far. Uh, I, I could have got the two terabyte, I'm gonna be honest, they get a little pricey. Uh, M.2s can get really expensive, man, depending on which one you get, especially the ones with the really good read speeds. Um, I got this one that I felt like a steal. Y'all can find this thing on Amazon, man. I, I, hey, look, check the link. Check the link in the description. Y'all might be able to get it while it's still hot. But as you can see, we got the games uh, being able to be installed now here on the uh, SSD. And basically how you want to do that, you want to go down here to installation location. You want to hit PS5 games and apps, and you make sure it's on M.2 SSD storage. From now on, every, anytime you download a game or anything, it's going to go straight to your M.2 SSD storage for anybody that didn't know how that worked. Now, another quick note for any of you guys that's wondering, well, how do I move my game or how do I move my storage? Easy. Just go to games and apps, all of that, whether it's games and apps, whether it's save data, regardless. You want to go to whatever game. So right here, I'm on uh, Ratchet and Clank. I'm going to hit items to move. Right. So what I'm going to do is I got Ratchet and Clank already here. Checked. Right here, I want to move Ratchet and Clank over there to my M.2 SSD. And as you can see, available after moving, it tells you how much you're going to save. Available after moving, it tells you how much it's going to upload on the other SSD. So let's go ahead and hit that move. The item you select will be moved to the M.2 SSD. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to let that do what it do. All right, bet. So now we officially got Ratchet and Clank moved over there to the M.2 SSD. As you can see, it says available and then available. It doesn't tell you what is and what it will be. That right there lets you know your move was successful. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back. We're going to go back to the home menu, and then we're going to test out this Ratchet and Clank. All right, so this is a test running the game off the M.2 SSD. We're going to check it out to see what's popping with it. I'm 
I'm going to my save game right here. Well, no, I don't even think this. I don't even really remember which one is mine. I just remember I had the, the one that with the hardest one. I'm just going to go down to this one at the bottom. And as you can see, the game loads just fine, super fast, uh, no complaints here. So I'm, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Uh, really big things for the future of this M.2 SSD, man. I'm really excited. Uh, team group, man, thank y'all, man. I appreciate this, man. Uh, really dope M.2, man. I'm glad this worked for the PS5. For anybody that was wondering, yes, this does indeed work for the PS5. And yes, the heat sink, the thick heat sink that you see does indeed fit in the PS5. So there it is, guys. We got the M.2 uploaded into the PS5, guys. I am extremely excited. Obviously, we all know the PS5 storage was trash. Like, come on, PS. Like, Sony, what was y'all doing, bro? Like, hello? 800 gigs of data storage? Or was it even, was it even 800? It wasn't even 800. I think we got like 600. Like, bro. Anyways, the storage was trash. But now that we have access to be able to use the, the onboard M.2 slot for the PS5, bro, I'm telling you guys, M.2 is the way to go. If you decide to go SSD or hard drive because it's cheaper, obviously, I don't fault you for that. But M.2 is definitely the way to go if you want those fast, blistering fast speeds, bro, for the upload of your games, storage, uh, save files, whatever the case you want to do on your M.2 don't matter m.2 is the way to go team group thank you for coming out with this m.2 and yes guys for anybody that came to this video to figure out does this work for the ps5 yes it does i know a lot of people they're, they're throwing out the the samsung evo 980s the what is it the wb black n 850s like bro you don't need those there are more than one options out there for M.2s for the PS5. As long as it has a read speed of 5,000 megabits per second or more, you're good to go. Also guys, y'all already know the vibes, man. If you enjoyed the video or if it was at least helpful for you at all and it answered a few questions, y'all already know the vibes, man. Hit that like button, it helps the channel out tons, bro. Trust me, it does. And also, if you love the content and you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you always wanna know when your boy dropping another video, hit that bell notification. With all that being said, man, this your boy Kid Sassy, man, and we up out of here. Peace.